What's up guys? It's the Adventure Ninja and today we are going to be doing some extra reloading for the 6mm arc. Um, I went to the range a little while back and I had posted the results uh, very briefly in graph format and, and uh, Excel spreadsheet format, but uh, basically what I found is that uh, from my starting ladder test with CFE223, uh, I was getting uh, from 2462 feet per second up to 2631, uh, that was with 28.7 grains of powder at the high end. Uh, and then with lever evolution, uh, was getting from 2507 at the low end all the way up to 2682, uh, that was with 29.6 grains of powder, but I did see some ejector marks at that high end. A uh, little bit of a flattened primer, a little bit, but not, not too bad. Uh, 29.2, grains of lever evolution actually produced 2654 feet per second. Now these were using the 105 grain uh, VLDs from Burger. So what we're going to be loading up today is actually the 95 grain. To get a little bit more of that speed, uh, we had to drop the weight of the bullet down. Now according to um, the HodgdonReloading.com and the Hornady PDF, uh, they're saying that for the 95 grain bullets uh, for CFE to use basically from 28.0 uh, to 30.0 grains of powder and for lever evolution uh, basically from about 26 and a half up to 31.1 I'm going to probably top out at 31 uh, for my ladder test but let's go ahead and load these uh, because they are really actually cool bullets. So it's uh, about 10 o'clock on Sunday night, and I got to go to the range this past week and do a new set of ladder testing with the 105 grain burgers. The velocities were lower than I wanted. I've been shooting for that 2,700 feet per second uh, speed limit and watching Johnny's reloading bench, watching Eagle Eye shooting. Uh, these guys are putting a ton of rounds down range and I only have really a, a couple powders to choose from. So really CFE and uh, 223 and Lever Evolution are it. So I went back to the, to the reloading bench and the video that you just saw and I put together uh, some new loads with 95 grain burgers to really get a, a jump in velocity. And what I saw was actually a very promising. So uh, as you can see by the graphs, the CFE 223 was started off on the low end at 26.79 feet per second at 29.2 um, 
grains of powder all the way up to 2742 feet per second with 30 grains of powder and the cases look just fine. Um, on Leper Evolution, what was really neat is that it started off at 2700 feet per second with 29.8 grains of powder um, and actually I did a, a couple rounds for each charge weight. I know instead of just doing one per charge weight and kind of looking at the, that, I actually did a couple, got averages. Uh, the first shot, first couple shots were 26.99 and 27.02, so I was like, that's pretty good. Um, moving on up to the high end, I got 28.19 feet per second, which was also good, and a very small uh, delta between the two charges, uh, 28.15 and 28.24. So I'm, I'm looking at either the bottom end or the top end <laughs> uh, for that where 2,700 feet per second is kind of where I want to be uh, for the 6R. But the velocities are about where we want them to be. And now we're just going to do a little bit of accuracy testing. But again, the, uh, the Helix 6 carbon fiber barrel, uh, 18 inch uh, with a rifle length plus one gas system. Uh, very reliable and uh, has just been shooting great so uh, I'll let you know how that goes.